Go anywhere. Take me downtown. It's cool out there. You might have a smoke. Fine. Cool, man. Cool. Car 409. Do a pickup to Cadillac and Warren. An old lady at the veterinary hospital. My dog King, I had to have him put down. He was very sick. I do have a picture of him, though. Oh, let's have a look. So I seem to be really low in cash. Do you think maybe we can work something out? Don't look at me, man. You don't like it when you look at me. Threesomes? My roommate would love you. Sure. You'd like him, he's a really great guy. Hospital, emergency. You know, the longer I'm in Washington, the more I hate coming back to Detroit. Breakfast with John Medlin from the Hornby Foundation. At 9, you've got an interview with Grace Landy from the Times. Somebody should put that bitch out of her misery. At 9.30, Gerald Prem from City Planning wants you to review those proposals for the interstate expansion. Is there anything tonight? Senator Ross called. She's having dinner at the George, and she wants to drop by for drinks afterward. Can't make it. Senator doesn't usually invite junior congressmen to meet her dinner guests. I can't make it. Where are you going to drop this broad? Her name's Vanessa. Christ, Eric, why do you want to risk your whole career over a piece of ass? You told me when I went to Washington to do whatever I could to fit in, huh? This is not what I had in mind. Well, if it makes you any happier, I sort of plan to cool things off after tonight anyway. I hope you don't let to regret this. Trust me. What are you doing in there? Shut your mouth. Close your eyes. Put your hands behind your back. <laughs> eyes closed. Uh-huh. This is gonna be good.
you dare move. Coming. That's one happy bellboy. You'd be surprised. Hmm. So you give up? Yeah, I give up. That kind of guy? Where are you going? To get drunk. I'm with you. <laughs> Stand waking up in all that water. Say something nice, don't say nothing at all. Ben, it's Kathy. You swore you'd give me that check before I left on my trip. I need that money. So call me. Sheep herder came down out of the mountains to take driving lessons. The instructor said, can you make a U-turn? He said, shit, I'll make her eyes pop out. <laughs> OK, Ben. You've got a net. Lloyd, I've had a net for the last three nights in a row. So you got a good thing going. She's got one foot in the grave, Lloyd. What, what about Geraldine? She's with JD. What about Sylvia? Suspension shot. What's wrong with the net? What's wrong with Annette is that she breaks down every time I take her out. I don't think she likes me. Ben, you're a charming guy. Work on her. Work on your jokes. I heard that. How's my favorite girl? Now, well, let's see what we have today, Annette. Do an affirmation, one for you and one for me. Today I am attracting beauty, joy, and serenity into my life. <sighs> yeah. And 
yours. Day by day and every way, I'm getting better and better. <laughs> well, let's hope so, Annette. Yes, 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 Annette. Lock and roll. to make love someplace when there's a lot of people around. Maybe in a hall of the art center. <laughs> Future senator arrested for fornicating in city gallery. News at 11. Mm, mm, somebody liked the idea. Get mixed up with you anyway. Your wife introduced us, remember? Thanks. Don't mention it. We have to talk. I don't do this. Look, Vanessa, it's over. What if I don't want it to be over? Me neither. Think. Don't you ever threaten me, do you understand? Never fucking threaten me. Marrakesh. something funny I can always tell about people by where they sit in the back of my cab for example introverts they sit huddled up in the corner extroverts they sit right there in the middle which would make you an ambivert see an ambivert I know what it is I know what it is what is that accent where are you from is that German Polish Korean? Belgium. Belgium? That was going to be my next guess. Why'd you tell me? Hey, do you like to read? Huh? The reason I ask is because I'm a writer. This is just a night gig for me. I'm a novelist. I write Look, spies. I've a lousy words. night. I just like to sit here and think, if you don't mind. No, I don't mind.
20. Give the change. Hey, what's your name? Vanessa. Vanessa, Ben Short. Here's my card. If you ever need a ride, just give me a shout. And check out my book. I am attracting beauty, joy, and serenity into my life, Annette. with my serenity. It's open. Got here as soon as I could. What the hell's going on? You got a small problem. Eric. I told her it was over. She doesn't want to call it off. I'm not careful, she's gonna blow the whole fucking thing. Give me that. I've had enough. <sighs> so what are we gonna do? Find out what she wants. We'll pay her off. It's not about the fucking money. Look, Eric, we've got a fucking problem here. You've got too much to lose. Yeah, I know. Man, what the fuck did you do? Lloyd, I didn't do a damn thing to her. I told you we don't get along. I can't believe this. You gonna send somebody out here? I'm freezing my ass off. Yeah, right. Look, you just stay put. Where the hell am I gonna go, Lloyd? I... What do you want? Can I come in? What for? Mm, I want to talk. About what? <sighs> Look, I'm, s I'm sorry I was a bastard earlier. Do you want some tea? Very good. You sound surprised. No, I'm not. You know, a psychologist would have a field day with this. What would she say? Mm, that the person who drew this is very intelligent, complicated, emotional, maybe just a wee bit destructive. Well, you've missed your calling. No, I don't think so. That's what I like about you, Eric. You think you have everything figured out. Yeah, I kind of like that about me, too. Don't. Come on. I said don't. What's the matter? You huh? got me. What are you going to do, huh? 
You gonna you gonna go to the media? Is that what you're planning on doing? Huh? You hurt me. Huh? You fucking bitch. Mark, what did you think I was gonna do? You think I was gonna leave my wife? Stop it. Is that what you thought I was gonna do? Something's happened. Eric is dead. He was drunk. He was trying to kill me. Hello? Are you there? Yeah, I'm still here. What should I do? I suggest you get out of there. Follow standard procedures. That. Put this miserable beast out of its misery. Tell that to Lloyd, will you? Thanks, Pete. Hey! Need a lift? I already called for a cab. What company? Red Top. Red Top? You gotta be kidding me. Suit yourself. You don't mind putting your life in somebody else's hands. I'm going to the airport. Yes, ma'am. Turn on the races? Yes, I do. Don't like the races, then. You know, a friend of mine and I are planning to buy our own horse. Make a lot of money that way if you pick the right horse. Yeah, another 2830 bucks. I've got my end covered. Can I ask you a question? I wish you would. When was the last time? Last time what? It's time you had sex. Is there something you want to say? You can tell about a person by where they sit in your car. I can tell about the person by how much they talk. Seven months, 11 days, and five hours. More or less. <laughs> Feel better? I'm starting to. Want me to give you a hand with these inside? No, I'm just fine. Thanks. Hope you pick a winning horse. Hope things work out for you, too. Trouble with a capital T. Here, let me help. 
help you there. Thank you, sir. Night traveler, huh? It's the vampire in me. <laughs> what are you doing here? I got a call. We're going to have to talk. What do you mean? Come here. What the hell is going on? Come here. Look at, do as you're told, huh? Hey, is there a problem? No, there's no problem. Hey, let's see some ID. Particular, or are we just taking the night tour of Detroit? I don't know, but I get the feeling that there's somebody back there saying, follow that cab. Look, is there something I can do? Talk about it. What with you? Suit yourself. Listen, thanks for your help back there. All in a day's work. Definitely not your average taxi driver. <laughs> Definitely not your average passenger. How much did you say you need to buy that racehorse? Why? How much? About 2,800 bucks. I'll make you a deal. If you drive me for the next three days, I'll buy you that horse. Are you serious? It's a down payment. A thousand bucks. Where are you going, Rio? Seattle via Minneapolis. Just out of curiosity, why don't you run a car? I don't drive. Do we have a deal? It's a long way from Detroit to Seattle. Five thousand. It covers all expenses. And hazard pay. Four thousand. No questions. <laughs> Do we have a deal? Seven, eight, nine. This is a thousand dollars. Yeah, that's what that is. She's gonna pay the other half when we get there, if and that makes. I'll take care of this. Oh, well, wait a minute, Lloyd. What are you doing with that? Ben, you're taking one of my babies out of state. This is insurance. How long have we been together? Now, I really feel that you're taking unfair advantage of me here. You should treat me better than this. So, she for real or what? I'll let you know. Bye, Bubba.
take the next exit. Need a break? No. I don't like the interstate. Uh, you know, we didn't figure that in. If you uh, want to take side roads all the way to Seattle. 45. Right. I'll pay you 4500 if you take the side roads. Side roads it is. Love it out here. You know, it's been ages since I've been out of the city. You forget how black it is out here at night. Fresh air. Look, I'd like to sleep a bit, OK? Tell you what. Let me ask you just a few questions, and I'll let you sleep. What do you say? Three questions. What's the story with that guy back there, the one who's after you? He was somebody I was seeing. We broke up. He's not handling very well. Next question. Why Minneapolis and Seattle? I have a friend in Minneapolis. Seattle is home. Next. Don't rush me. What's your favorite color? Black. A lullaby? Shut up. Our young congressman, huh? What a waste. This could have been a good gig. I want this apartment flushed. Sorry. That's a good question. Some dive in Riverside. Listen, I need a favor. Forget it, Van. I haven't asked you yet. I'm not feeding your goldfish. Come on. Lloyd, you know how Travis gets when he doesn't eat. Why don't you do yourself a favor and flush that little fucker down the toilet? Thanks, Lloyd. I owe you one. <laughs> ben, you're a pain in the ass. Can I help you? I hope so. Uh, I was in one of your cabs this afternoon, and uh, I left my briefcase behind. And nothing's been reported. It was cab 409. You're sure? Positive. Well, 409 went out at 8 tonight. You sure? I'm positive. Who 
are you? Some joint in a town called Riverside. He didn't leave a name. He. Ben, sure. He's the driver. Say where he's gone. Minneapolis. Then Seattle. Thank you. Do you dance? <laughs> do I dance? No, no, no. Do your feet a big favor. Don't have them. I always did like a woman who couldn't take no for an answer. <sighs> so tell me, Vanessa. What do you do? I mean, to make ends meet. I dabble. <laughs> you dabble. In what? This and that. Can you be a little more vague? Let's go back quietly. So what was her name? What was whose name? Seven months, 11 days, and uh, five hours. Her name was Anna. That shit. What are we doing? Just dancing. At all? <laughs> Girlies! Hey, if you don't do something, one get on with it. Is he talking to us? Just ignore him. I'm talking to you, Maestro. Why don't I buy you and your pals around? <laughs> and why don't you suck my hog? Your what? My hog. Why don't we just get out of here, huh? She's the boss. You're gonna have to suck your own hog, pal. Come on. Ten! All their brothers. Who is it? It's room service. I'm gonna go get some breakfast. You wanna join me? Catch up with you later, all right? Here you go, Roy. How's the food? You're gonna love it. It's so greasy you can't keep it on the fork. Great, now I got an ulcer. Mike Stimson. I sell upholstery. Ben Shore, blue striped cap. That's a Detroit outfit, isn't it? Yes, it is. What are you doing out here? 
picked up a fare, wants me to drive her all the way to Seattle. Seattle? Yep. Right in the sugar place. Why didn't she fly? <laughs> it's a long story. She pretty. Right out of a magazine. Good looking women. I've got to get out of the holster. <laughs> it's not like it sounds, believe me. Well, have a good day. Safe trip. You too. Him. Him who? Mag's boyfriend. What's your ex-boyfriend? Son of a bitch said he was some business guy. He lied to you. Lied to me? He tried to shoot me. You were shooting at me. What? He's a cop. He's a cop? What, are you wanted? No. He's my ex-boyfriend. You said he's a cop. What the hell kind of a cop tries to kill his ex-girlfriend? A very sick one. No shit. We're going to the police. It won't do any good. I just have to disappear. Go somewhere he can't find me. Disappear? How the hell did he find you here? Did you call anyone? No, I didn't call anyone. Except my boss. Don't do it again. Don't tell me what to do with my job! That son of a bitch tried to kill us! Yeah? Well, we're fine. Look at this! Look at this mess! Lloyd's gonna have a shit fit! I'll pay for it. Oh, great. How the hell did I get myself into this? It won't happen again. Well, that's reassuring. Pull over. Why? Because you don't drive! Shit! Pull over. Just pull over. You know, this is really one hell of a way to start my day. Not to worry. I'll take care of it. Sorry about the mix-up. Oh, that's okay. Can I get you to sign this? Sure. Never worked with anybody from Treasury before. Oh, yeah, I don't imagine you get too many of us out here. No, sir. Would you like a lift to your vehicle? That would be wonderful. Take care now. What do you think? Been shot. Can you fix it? Uh, it depends. On what? How much time you got? None. Two days minimum. Shit. Whatever. There must be something you can do. Well, there is one thing. Now, this one's a real steal. New clutch, new brakes, new muffler. There's no tires. Nice little AM, FM van for those long country trips. Worth at least 2,000. I'll let you have it for 17. How's she run? Oh, like a deer. Of course, you want something roomier. I got this four door here. Power steering, power brakes, air conditioning. I'll even throw in a set of sheepskin seat covers. Now, what do you think? This has to be the ugliest car I've ever seen. What do you want for 500 bucks? How much further to Minneapolis? Another four hours. 
She trusts you. So what am I supposed to do? Well, if I get there first, nothing. And if she gets there first? Just hold her. Yeah, right. FM, Minneapolis, it's 6.36. Hi, I'm Aaron Goodman. Guess what? More snow for the Twin Cities. That's right. Don't worry, another five months and we'll all be over. In the meantime, here's Joel Feeney. I'll check us in. Ben? One room. Two beds. <laughs> stare any harder, you're going to burn a hole through my body. Sorry. Pass me my blouse. What's the matter? You never seen a woman dressing before? Well, there are women dressing, and then there are women dressing. Are you calling me a tease? Only in the best possible sense of the word. This friend that you're going to see, is it a guy? Yep. Another ex? Just a friend. Does he own a gun? Not that I know of. Why did you say you were going to see him? Do I detect a trace of jealousy? Oh, no. no. I'm not the jealous type. Then why the third degree? Well, I just like to be prepared. I'm not so sure that this is going to work. If you want your own room, by all means. I'll be back soon. With you. Hello, Danny. Chris. You want to 
wasn't expecting me. Oh, I can't believe it's you. How are you? You look terrific. Don't look so bad to yourself. Oh, I'm hanging in. Yeah, it's good to see you. Sit down. Get your drink. Bourbon, please. On the rocks with a splash of silver. Always the memory for details. Some details are worth remembering. Hey, how about a dance? No, why not? Would you do me a favor? Sure, mister. See that guy over there by the door in the long black coat? Uh-huh, I see him. He's my best friend and he's kind of shy. When he comes over here, would you ask him to dance? Mm -hmm. You're beautiful. I'm in trouble. What kind of trouble? The kind that gets people like you and I killed. Well, why didn't you start from the beginning? Uh, last I heard, you were on your way to Detroit. <sighs> what a nightmare. Hi there. Hey, what's your problem? Sure. Jim. Hey, you got a problem? <laughs> <laughs> Something wrong? Nobody knew I was in Detroit. I'm sorry, Chris. This is really fucked. I know it's fucked. But there's nothing I can do. You talked to Quinn? He said you killed some congressman in Detroit. What the hell happened? <sighs> Don't hit me. What? <laughs> What are you doing? Get back on the road, Ben. What the hell happened back there? It's none of your business. You're wrong. It's becoming my business. Why won't you tell me anything? Why should I trust you? I'm probably the only person you can trust. Let go of me! What the fuck do you want from me?
It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Definitely not your average taxi driver. Definitely not your average passenger. Oh, she's going to try and get out of the country. Yeah, she's going to need all the help she can get. No. She won't trust anyone from the inside. No. Look, I've got an idea. Compile a list of everyone she knows in this area. Yeah. Everything. And right, I'll get back to you. What's more coffee? This. They work. Only if you believe. That must be Anna. Help yourself. Sorry. How did it end? Herself. <clears throat> I had a younger sister. She died when I was seven. I didn't know anything about death then, except that it hurt. I remember my mother in the kitchen chair. and clung to her, but she wouldn't hold me. She just let me slide right off of her, right onto the floor, like I wasn't even there. Why are you telling me this? I don't know. Listen, um, I won't be going to Seattle. You can just drop me off at Billings. It's going to be much shorter trip for you. <laughs> Don't tell me another ex boyfriend. No, I have a friend, a doctor. She's the only one who can help me. Help you what? I've got to get out of the country. You mean to tell me that there is nothing you can do to stop this guy? No, there's nothing I can do.
anything else from getcha? No, thank you very much. You keep the change. Where are we? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I was just thinking that maybe you and I aren't so different after all. Maybe we're looking for some of the same things. And I was thinking, how can you possibly know what you really want because you're so busy running away? Why don't you tell me what this trip is really about? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about whatever happened to your friend last night, about the guy who's chasing us, and why you have to carry a gun. I think it's time to go. Why the big mystery? What the hell are you running from? Who the hell do you think you are? You have no right to know anything about me. Let me tell you something, Ben. You're just some cab driver who takes me where I want to go. That's all. And if you can't handle this, I find somebody who can. Good luck. That's just great. There and freeze your ass off. What the fuck did I get myself into this shit? Hold on. Freeze my ass off sleeping in fucking cars. It's bullshit. of the universe within me. I feel the love and compassion of the universe within me. Bullshit! Bullshit!
We got anyone in Billings, Montana? Yes, I want to plane in half an hour. Is Cindy known as working tonight? Do you know what time she gets off? A friend. I've come from out of town. I'd like to surprise her. Thanks. She doesn't get off till late. Meet this friend of yours? Why? Why? Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe I'd like to be sure she really exists. Okay. Cindy?
choice. You can tell me what's going on right now or you can talk to the police. Trust me, Ben. The less you know about it, the better. No, no, no. Me or the police? I work for the CIA. Oh, great. You expect me to believe that? Think about it, Ben. You've heard about a man named Eric Weaver. Yes, I've heard of Eric Weaver. I voted for him. He's dead. He had a hell of a career in front of him. But the people I work for like to control careers. They like to get a little something on everyone, so I was sent to get involved with Eric. Only things didn't go as planned. So now they sent Quinn to kill me. You expect me to believe this? It's the truth. They want me dead. Who wants you dead? Does it matter? Why did we go to Minneapolis? We had to see a contact, somebody who could bring me in. And what happened? He's dead. Oh, good. And what about your friend back here? She was just a friend. She wasn't involved. And I'm just the guy who's supposed to take you wherever you want to go. Is that it? Well, I got news for you. We're going to the police. You're taking me to a train station.
twice in the same night. Now toss that gun as far as you can. Do it. Why are you doing this? If I don't kill you, they'll just send somebody to kill us both. The buck stops with you. Don't! Don't touch that gun! Put it down! Come back here. Come right over here. Get up, you. Stop. Stop! FBI. Bullshit. Shut up. Give me the gun. Don't fucking move! What, do you want to see ID? I'm Agent Quinn, Washington Bureau. What she been telling you? She's CIA? Undercover? On some secret mission, huh? Turn around. What? I said turn the fuck around. Put your hands up. Reach into your pocket with your right hand and take your ID out and pass it over your shoulder. Want to know her real name? It's Christina Ruggiero. And I've been after her for a very long time. He's lying, Ben. Shut up. Turn around. That makes you a very busy guy, chasing her all around the country, taking shots at me, and selling upholstery. No. I had to find out if you were involved. I'm convinced you're not. You're just being used like all men. If you give him the gun, he's going to kill both of us. All right, I'm supposed to trust you. Do what you have to do. Don't move! Don't fucking move! She's going for move. the gun. You. You've been a problem right from the beginning. Say goodbye.